let's continue on now with the financial statements. Uh, the textbook shows four financial statements, but at this time, I'm not going to go over the statement of cash flows, our cash flow statement, because I think we need to learn that later in the semester. I don't think it's something that we need to understand right now, but it just shows the cash coming in and going out. I think the three most important financial statements right now that you need to be familiar with are the income statement, the statement of owner's equity, and then we're going to prepare a balance sheet. Now, we need to know the balances of these different accounts. Now, the accounts, once again, are such things as cash as an account, um, car, supplies, accounts payable, your capital account, withdrawal account. We need to know the balances of all these accounts in order to prepare financial statements. Now, I'm just going to be using some numbers that I'm going to be pulling out of my head to put some financial statements together. But on homework or in the textbook, you'll see where the numbers are coming from to plug into your different financial statements. So now the first financial statement you're going to want to prepare probably is the income statement. The income statement measures the profit of the business. That's really important. Think about if this was your business. Wouldn't you want to know how much profit you're making on a monthly, quarterly, and annual basis? Well, if you're doing your books right, you'd be able to prepare an income statement in order to uh, figure out how much profit you're making. The profit is the net income. So let's just say that we look at all of our pizza sales and drinks and, and pizza and, and salads and whatever we sell in our business. And let's say that the revenue, our sales, are $20,000. let us say we go to all of our expenses. We have wage expense, we've been paying our employees, uh, some supplies expense, uh, we might have gas for the car, just different expenses like that. And let's say when we total all those expenses up, let's say they total up to $18,000. So this looks pretty good for us. We have revenue of 20, expenses of 18, so hopefully you can see that our net income is going to be $2,000. Okay, So this would be a very simplified income statement, but you need to be familiar with what an income statement is, and it measures the profit of the business. Now, once we have this profit, we can then go on to our next financial statement, the statement of owner's equity. You, as the owner of a business, are very interested in this because it tracks your capital account. This is your value that you have in the company, your claim to the company. So this was a brand new company that we just that you just started. And so the beginning capital balance would be zero because it's brand new. So it started with a zero balance. Now let's say that you invested twenty thousand in this business. You put twenty thousand dollars cash into the business. So plus the owner investment. So during this time period, you invested twenty thousand. Now it says plus net income, because the net income is yours. It's your business. So this profit here, this net income is yours. So let's put $2,000 down for that. Okay. So now you can see we've got $22,000. Now the question is, you as an owner, did you take any cash out of the business? I'm not talking about what you got paid for wages or a salary, but just taking some money out of the business. And let's say you did. Let's say you took $1,000 out of this business. So now I'm going to put it in parentheses because it's just easier to see instead of using a negative sign. Uh, we like to use parentheses in accounting to make sure it's very clear that we're reducing this, that this is a negative number. Okay. So now our ending capital balance, hopefully you can see, is going to be 20 plus 2 is 22 minus 1 is $21,000. Okay. So that's now the balance in your capital account. Now we're ready for the third financial statement, the balance sheet. The balance sheet is the accounting equation. It's assets on one side, and then liabilities and equity on the other side. Now I can't draw very well down there, but there you go, the equity. So let's say the assets, and I'm just pulling this out of my head right here. Let's say the assets are cash, supplies, um, and the last one I have down here um, is a car. Okay, so let's say our cash in the business right now is fifteen thousand. So we have to go look at our transactions and see what, what's the actual balance in cash. Let's say our supplies. We have four thousand dollars in supplies, and let's say that our car we purchased for ten thousand. And so let's say it's got a balance of ten thousand right now. So you can see our total assets then are. 15, 19, 29,000. Okay, now this is called the balance sheet. It's the accounting equation, so the other side has got to balance. All right, so 
Let's say we only have one liability. I'm going to abbreviate here A slash P, which stands for accounts payable. It's those people that we owe money to, the creditors that we owe money to. And let's say that the balance in accounts payable is 8000 And now our equity account, well, our equity is our capital account. So I'm going to put right here capital, and it's got 21000 So this twenty one goes down here. So now, are we in balance? Our assets, uh, the accounting equation is 29,000. Liabilities and equity are the other side of the accounting equation, eight and 21, liabilities plus equity are 29,000. We're in balance, okay? Now notice how I did these financial statements, okay? I prepared the income statement first. The reason being is because this net income number, we're gonna need or the statement of owner's equity. This is called articulation, the relationship between the financial statements, how numbers from one financial statement are needed in another financial statement. So now, we did the statement of owner's equity next because the 21,000 for the capital account, we needed in order to prepare our balance sheet, okay? So there are the financial statements. Once again, I hope you're viewing these, these videos several times to make sure that you really understand these concepts because this stuff is gonna move forward with you from one accounting class to the other. You need to make sure you understand this. Make your life easier now. You know, well actually it might not be easier now, but make your life easier in the future learning this now. You don't wanna to have to relearn this stuff later. You wanna learn it now because when you learn it now, you're gonna remember it. It's stuff that sticks with you, okay? So really spend time making sure that it makes sense in your brain, all right? Good luck with accounting. I really hope you enjoy this. Most students, when they spend the time and really get to understand this, actually end up liking accounting. All right, good luck. Thanks.